Then we transmitted from the surface, so we got that contract done. Just green sandstone and bring him back, basically. Okay, well, now we should be able to see stuff. EVA. Oh, currently unavailable because of time warp. EVA. Okay. Hey, there's Kerbin over there. Second EVA. Well, we got. I mean, it'd be embarrassing if we have a geologist here and can't get a stone, right? See a little small thing over there, but it might just be another one of those random scatters. Guess we might as well go towards something, though. Yeah, I think there's a bunch of little random scatters. Well, I don't know. Let's take a look. It's shadowed. I can't tell the color. Uh, nope. Well, now I can tell the color, and it's not the right color. Well, yeah, this is also not one. I didn't expect it to be. We got to turn back soon, though, and I'm not seeing anything. Is that a stone there, or I think that's just a uh, different coloration of the ground, yeah. Well, that's probably not one either, but I'll go towards it and then we'll head back. I mean, the, the actual green sandstone would be a differentish color. So... Yep, not so much. Alright. Time to go back home. Now, where is home? <laughs> Have you seen my pod? Two kilometers. That's a decent amount of EVA travel, isn't it? Well, I'll give that stone over there a try, but I don't think so. Yeah, it's the same one. But just for formality's sake. Okay, well, Sergey's in. We did two EV EVAs, could not find the green sandstone, and we are just going to proceed with the rest of the mission so that we do not fail the mission. And so that's our transfer stage coming around. We must dock with it. So we want to go westward. And we'll probably just go flat west so that we can intercept. Okay. And with that, I don't think there's... Well, I guess we can do a crew report. Fine, five minutes. Okay. We have assessed the situation. Our transfer stage is in front of us now. That's alright, we can catch up. And go. Okay, we made it a little bit more extreme than I wanted to. So this intercept caused us to waste a lot of Delta V, but we had a lot and I'm not planning to use it, so it should be alright. It's a weird sort of in intercept burn, but we'll get something over there. And it does not involve us crashing into the surface, so... Okay, getting into render range of our target. Alright, do we have control on the other... Well, let me just cut velocity here first. Okay, now... Can we have the other side point at us? Yeah, it's got comms. It's nice to have comms. It's nice that this whole sequence has not involved us for no reason lacking comms. I hope we never have that problem again. I wonder if we can have like a target nearest option so I don't have to look all over the place. Oh, there it is. Oh, 
Okay, lots of magnetism. All right, we are back together. Lowlands, have we done the uh, EVA report over to Lowlands or something like that? Uh, it seems that way. I don't know if there's if it's actually surface biome dependent anymore with JNSQ. Let's see, Midlands. Yeah, I think it's just one for the low Mimnus orbit. I think they wanted to avoid science mem. In shadow. Well, that's probably for the best. Data. This is the old science archive thing. EVA report. It only says biomes for surface. For space low, it's not biome dependent. So, only one for low minimus orbit, so we can't sign spam that. Alright, let's go back. Of course, we have to rendezvous with that pod around Kerbin orbit, the Leo. And this isn't going to do very well. Okay, I think we'll take that for a start. Make sure we've got the right engines and are controlling from the right direction. Don't know about the Delta V is reading there. I hope that's not the case, and I don't think it is, but... Oh, well, let's go. Oh, now it's reading 2200. That's better. Um, it's not a big deal for it. Uh, I mean, if it takes from this tank or not. I guess I'll just let it. Okay, we are temporarily out of comms, so I can't get rid of the maneuver node, but we are headed out. Minus high crew report. I wonder if EVA report is possible. We should probably repressurize the cabin. Ah, uh, no, we've already done the EVA report. Okay. Pressure control running now. Well, negative periapsis like that is probably a bad thing. Oh, okay. Coronal mass ejection. Well, we know just what to do with you. Hopefully it'll work again. Uh, where is the sun now? Okay, seems like we would be covered. Let's find out. Still at 50% right now. Okay, 4 hours, 11 minutes of this. Well, this orientation thing is way more effective than I would expect it to be. Okay, alright, we're clear of that solar storm, but now we have to solve the problem of us crashing into the surface, which is not something we want. I hope Minmus Mission 2 ship is what we want. Why is it so high up on the apoapsis though? I don't know. Okay, we've got a bunch of maneuvers to do. And I don't know if they're good good, but... Well, we should have enough, one way or another. Another one? Darn sun. Well, we're still pointed safely, in theory. Okay, we should be clear of that storm. Uh, another one, apparently. Well, good thing I stayed in this orientation. And another one. It's a miracle any of our other Kerbals survived at all, really. And another one. Is there a special time of year or something? Okay, let's do this burn. See, that's the normal plume. But then for some reason around Minmus we weren't getting that plume. I don't know why. Okay, why can't I get rid of that maneuver? <laughs> okay, now I can. Everything has to be strange. Another coronal mass ejection. And we are still oriented fine. But we should check. Sergey Kerman opened the wrong valve and 
electric charge has been lost. Well, good thing this orientation involves us recharging. 19% stress. Well, we can't avoid the radiation belts. Well, we can, but we aren't. And orientation won't help with that, so... Okay, go. Go, go. Okay, well, maybe something was going to happen over there. There's a lot of lines now. Let me get rid of the comm lines for a sec. Okay, well, as usual, we'll have just enough propellant. Okay. So far, Sergei's at 52% radiation. Okay, well, we are going to accidentally pass by the moon just a tiny, tiny little bit and then come back around. Uh, we've got four days worth of water. This encounter happens. Uh, let's actually bring our orbit down a bit more. <laughs> uh, but we can't do it like that. This was a bad idea. I thought the moon encounter would be quicker, but no. That would cost too much. Um, three days, 17 hours. Okay, well, that's still no good. Um, let me set that aside for a sec. Well, inevitably the other pod is going to have to help us out. And it does have Delta B to do that. I think this is the best plan. So, we will do this. It's awkward, but we don't want to take too long, and our orbital period is too long. I didn't notice that earlier. Okay, go. Okay, we'll try to intercept it there, but we don't have enough Delta V, so the other pod will have to help. Not another coronal mass ejection when we're in the midst of the, the radiation belts anyway. Five hours. Well, we better make sure that we're not going to miss... Our intercept point is off. Um, hmm. Oh, no. That was just because I was time warping. Our intercept point is before the solar storm is done. Great. Well, in the midst of an ongoing solar storm, we're going to have to reorient to do this burn. Well, we are shielded from the sun by Kerbin in theory, right? Should be okay. Okay, let's try and match velocities, but we're not going to have enough. This doesn't seem like 35 seconds. It lied, it lied. It wasn't 35 seconds. Gosh, and it says 30 seconds, but then it says 115 seconds sometimes. Why did it do that? Okay, we're going towards it very fast, and that's the end of that fuel. Let's, uh, okay, which one? And we're suborbital. <laughs> hmm, that's weird. Switch to that. We probably should avoid staying that way. This is not... This is not the right ship! This is the other mission ship. Oh gosh. We're in a jam. Okay, we used all the fuel to get into this really bad orbit. And we just need to get into a stable orbit if we can with the mod propellant now. We rendezvoused with the wrong thing. I knew that apoapsis looks strange. Alright, alright, we're in a stable orbit. Let's try and get the actual pod, figure out where it, that is. Maybe that's that's it over there. And try and get it over to us. Oh, this looks like the right thing. Okay, which of those two is the right one? 
Okay, our target is right there. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, please let this be the one with the Kerbal inside. Yes, Sergei is in this one. Okay. Well, we have proper RCS over here. Let's use that. I'm definitely not going to dock everything together. Let's depressurize so it will have pressure later on when we get back, if we ever use it again. EVA. And take everything. Take data. Okay, hopefully. Board. None of the data transferred from Sergey Kerman to Minmus Mission 2. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, Sergey will be fine. Alright, so we are somewhere. As expected, the location I identified as the D over point is currently in the dark and not visible, but it doesn't matter. Our orbit is so different than what it was last time, it wouldn't be a good reference anyway. Okie dokie. Arm the parachute before I forget. But no green sandstone. Whatever else we might achieve here. The elusive green sandstone. The cursed green sandstone. If you want to go all Halloween about it. Okay, re-entry time. Flame effects dying off. We seem to be through. We are well past the KSC this time. And there they are, the infamous little ice flows. Well, we know we go right through the ice flows anyway. They are not a collidable thing. Let's get ready. Oh no, they are collidable. I thought another one was not collidable. This one is collidable. Okay, well, uh, crew report from the ice flow. Well, Western Sea anyway. Okay, all right, all right. Um, EVA, I guess. Oh, now, okay. Oh, hmm, it's complicated. Maybe we're over the water? I, I mean, it seems like we hit land. Let's just be careful here. Okay, board. All right, recover. Okay, well, we got a bunch of science. We didn't get very much value from the pod. Sergey is a level 2 geologist. And we did complete the contract. So all we've got is green sandstone and a minimus 4 rally left. But that was certainly not a quick effort, but at least we've got the radiation thing down. And of course it was mainly a matter of orienting to the sun and actually having the alert active. So hopefully we can do different things next time. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.